The Turnpike Authority is now trying to decide whether to enlarge the Dallas-Fort Worth Turnpike or reduce the tolls, extending the payout of bonds and thereby keeping it longer as a toll road. Traffic engineers say if the turnpike goes free, one result would be a 25% increase in traffic. And as that happens, the proposed $200 million Trinity toll road, which roughly parallels the Trinity River, remains near mortally wounded. And is the Trinity toll road feasible at this time? Well, I really don't know. It's, of course, the cost of Trinity uh, has gone up considerably since we concluded our engineering study. But we'll never know the answer to that and, and, and until and unless we're permitted to conduct a traffic and revenue study to see how much revenue and how much traffic would uh, utilize this facility. What is, is the Trinity dead? We, uh, we, this project started in 1970, and uh, if we had been permitted to complete our studies, I think the road could have been built by now, and we'd have a $200 million road between, a new road between Dallas and Fort Worth, which I think would have served the area and served the public interest well. Kelly says he hopes the highway department will reconsider the need for another turnpike, especially with the anticipated growth of the regional airport. The current turnpike bonds are scheduled to be retired in 1977, and Kelly says the result would be more congestion and still no Trinity. Meanwhile, there's an ongoing study to see if the 1977 payoff date is premature in the light of the energy crisis, and that too could have a detrimental effect on the already sidetracked Trinity. Mike Miller, Channel 8 News, Fort Worth.